Hello. Uh, that was really sad. Hi. Um, I'm Matt, as you know, and I'm going to start doing tutorials for web design and web development on YouTube every Tuesday. They'll be quick and to the point because I ramble so much. The first take of this took eight minutes. So, let's go. The first tutorial is how to very, very quickly configure a custom theme for WordPress. The files that you need, the naming conventions for a few things, and getting that uploaded. Simple. Right, let's go. So, I have a local copy of WordPress running here. If I go into appearance and themes, you can see that the themes are 2017 and 2016. They come with WordPress, WordPress give you them. You can use them if you like. I don't know anyone who actually does. So, if you very quickly want to create your own WordPress theme, follow these few simple steps. One of which is to download a template. There are lots you can get online, um, which are like skeleton themes. Um, some called Starkers that was made by a guy called Elliot J. Stocks. That's quite old. Um, I think there are newer versions. There's lot. If you just Google skeleton WordPress thing, you'll be fine. I've got one that I've had for the last few years. I've created. I've got the necessary files in to create the thing. Here it is. Here. So what we've got is a theme for the files of the website. Very quickly, the thing, the files that you need to run the website are these two. Index and style, that's it. The rest are ones that are sensible, but in terms of technically getting the theme running, index and style. We have a, a theme file for 404 page, comments, footer, header, functions, um, index, obviously page, single uh, post type and um, then subfolders. So you can have images, JavaScript files in there, style sheets, whatever. So when you first create a theme, this is what you need to do. You need to open up your theme in your code editor and go to the style.css file. You want to rename the uh, theme to one that's appropriate for you, Matt's client theme. Um, you will set up your theme URI the description and your author information. You can put some tags on it if you like, but they're fairly, you know, they're fairly redundant. Um, and then you click save. This information here is what appears on this screen. So where you've got the theme details. All of this is what you put into style.css file. Um, then within the actual theme files themselves, I've got these sub package headings and that just allows me to see in any 404.php file that I've got, which I have hundreds of, um, I can see whose theme that's for. So I like to put that into there. So I've called my theme Matt's client theme. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up, uh, I'm going to find and replace, sorry. Um, for all of these themes, uh, for all these files in the theme, sorry, uh, for the term sub package mats theme, and replace that with sub package mats client theme. So I'll just do a quick find and replace. You can go through each file to do this and do it manually, um, but what I've now just done is find and replace those words. So now if I go into functions.php, you'll see that my sub package is mats client theme. This is completely ready to go now. I can now copy these files into the themes folder within WP content subfolder of my WordPress site. So let's call this Matt's theme and paste those files in there. And if I hit refresh, you'll now see my new theme. Oh no, you need to put a screenshot in. Uh, you'll see in the theme folder, there is a screenshot PNG. You can basically use that to create your theme. So uh, your theme screenshot. So I'll just very quickly go to the desktop. I've already got a appropriate image downloaded um, from Unsplash. So I'll just very quickly just create my 
create my theme title. Uh, let's just go like this. Uh, Matt's theme. Make that white. I don't even know what we're doing here, really. I selected red as well. What a wally. It's not pretty, that's for sure. But it's all you need. And once that's done, uh, you just want to save out this file into your theme folder. So I just want to save that. Save and done. Refresh and my new screenshot for my theme is there. I can then simply hit activate and that's it. That theme is now live. If I now go to visit my site, you'll see I've got a skeleton, completely unstyled base theme. And so that will be running the index.php file. So within those files, I have got some code already there. So start of a loop and how, and the, and the functions you need to bring in content. And this is where you then edit this to suit your theme. I hope that's helped. Um, Leave me some feedback in the comments below. Please like if you liked it. Please subscribe. If you did like them, please subscribe. Just subscribe if you want more. Um, there will be more, they'll get better. I'm really sorry if this was a bit rambly and a bit shit, but um, they will get better. Uh, the next one will be looking in detail at the functions.php file, maybe, if I get around to that one. If not, it'll be about something else. But um, thank you for watching. Um, and until next time.